Hey guys, this is Terry with Futures IO, and I just wanted to take a moment to show you how to use a screen capture uh, software to record your trades, talk about your day, and then to post those to YouTube and how to embed them into your journal on futures.io. I'm going to show three different uh, ones today. I'm going to show screencast o -Matic, Bandicam, and Jing. Now, I've already downloaded these and have them all ready to go, but you can go to each of these websites and download. Personally, I use Bandicam, uh, but most of the, but all of these are very good. So, all right, let's take a look. So, we have our software up. Let's do, I don't have any of them on. Let's turn them on. All right, let's do Jing first. Okay, once you have Jing up, you can go. Uh, actually, let me do that. Okay, there we go. So now, Jing is now capturing my whole window here. Um, you see there is a limit of five minutes on Jing, but you know, that's all you need. That's a very good option to record your screen. And you can talk about what you're doing, talk about your trades and how everything happened. All right, let me go ahead and stop this one. And you see it gives you your item. It looks like it saves it as a Swift, so I'm not too for sure about that. Okay, let me exit that, and let's do Bandicam. Okay, then we click on Bandicam. It opens here. We can do full screen. Hit the record button. And now Bandicam is recording. And again, you can go through your trades, talk about what happened. Nice, easy way. It, you'll notice all these are pretty, pretty easy, pretty basic, and really easy to use. All right, so I hit stop. Recording is done. Uh, Bandicam saves to a folder. In your documents called Bandicam. I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. Okay. So there it is. I just moved it out. All right, let's tr close that out and look for the next one. And that's the screen omatic. Uh, I'm not seeing it. Okay, let me go back to the website. Lost recorder. Okay, I see it. Open. Okay, so you can see it put a uh, box around so we can you know, maneuver the box however, however big we want to cover the area. Uh, you hit the record button, just like the other one that counts down. Now here you are, and you can go through your trades, talk about what happened. So, 
once you are done you hit the stop you hit done give me the screen you can trim let's let's say you you know you need to trim some of it you can trim trim it out um, you can actually upload straight to YouTube or you save the, the video file I'm just gonna save it at the moment I right, save it to the desktop it'll take it a few minutes or so to complete All right, you hit done. Let me close out of Ninja. All right, so now our three recordings are here. We'll go to YouTube. Once you're logged into YouTube, you can go to the upload button. And then you just drag and drop your videos. Don't worry about all these tag, tags. I'm going to make it unlisted. Okay, you hit done with all. Um, once your video is uploaded, you'll get the share and embed. All you need to do is copy this code. And you can go to your journal. And then you click your YouTube button and you just put that URL in between the two tags and then hit submit. And now your video is embedded. It looks like Gene doesn't look too good. Let me try the next one. Okay, so that shows you how to use three. I'm not for sure what's happening with Jing. Um, it saves it as a SWF, a Swift file. I, I think that has something to do with why it's uploading weird to YouTube. Um, but once you get your video saved, you go to the Upload button, upload it, get your link, go to your uh post and then put it inside the YouTube YouTube tags and now we'll embed it on the website. I hope that helps.